<coughs> Alright guys and gals, I'm back for another video. I'm going to be making some tur roasted turkey enchiladas with some vegetables in it. I'm going to be using um, enchilada stuff, sauce, which is mild. They also have hot and medium, so... <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to use roasted turkey. Or you can use canned chicken if you have that. Excuse me, my throat's dry. Okay, I am going to be with a pan. I'm going to use a baking pan. I'm using the small one because I'm only making it for two people. So, I'm going to use some Crisco oil. Got my pastry brush. So about a tablespoon of oil. And you can use any type of oil. I'm using vegetable oil. Alright, that's well greased. I'm chopping a third of a green bell pepper. And I'll probably do, not all, I'm not going to cut all this onion, a little bit. So I'm just cutting about a couple slices. I think I might get a half a cup of onion. I'm going to slice this real quick. That might be a whole cup. So that's a whole cup of onions that I'm going to put on there. On top. Alright. I'm going to cut faster. About a whole cup of green bell pepper. I don't know if I'm gonna use all this turkey. This is a lot of turkey. And I don't want the fat in there. Because I don't like fat. Love the turkey, but if you want it, go for it. I'm not gonna use it. Just chop it on and see how much I use. See, this is partly fat. I don't want that.
Alright, you guys. I might sprinkle some um, powder. I just haven't made this in a while, so I had to think what I put into it last time. I might do a dash of that here. Once I'm keeping, I might, I'm gonna do a dash of paprika. Right, I need to grab my cheese. I think I'm gonna do all that. I got some Mexican cheese. I'm using flour tortilla, tortilla shells. So flour tortilla shells. That's what I'm using. You can also use corn if you're like gluten free. That's good too. Yeah. I'm just gonna put some turkey on the tortilla shell. So I'm gonna roll it up and place it here. When they start falling apart, that's when they like um, make um, enchiladas with them. So. I think I'm going to do one more. That should be enough. I'm going to clear my mouth a little bit. Open this can of red enchilada sauce. Move my arm so y'all can see. Guys, I'm gonna put some paprika on my enchiladas, just a little bit. I'm putting some cumin, just a dash. Some 
onion powder, no salt, just a dash, some garlic powder, just a dash, there's no salt in it. White pepper, just a dash. Sprinkle my onions. Sprinkle my um, green bell pepper. <coughs> oh, the spices are spicy. Try not to breathe so much so I won't sneeze. Alright, I'm doing some Mexican blend of cheese on top. Let's say about a cup. You can do more if you want. It's totally up to you. So this dish has gluten and dairy in it. Alright you guys, this is what it looks like, the guys and gals, that's the bottom. So you bake this in a 350 oven for about 30 to 40 minutes. And I'm at a high altitude, so you should give this a try. Um, I also put, diced some uh, tomatoes and some lettuce and put over the top of it, that's good too. So if you want to eat it that way, that's awesome too. You should give this a try and see if you like it. I love it, so my husband loves it too. So give this a try and let me know if you like it. So we'll see you guys in the next video.